Just a day before the big team India Alliance meeting kicks off in Mumbai to choose a convener, forget about choosing a prime minister, all the big constituent parties that make up this big alliance are pitching their own prime minister from the Congress party that is, as you can see in that image to the far right of your screen, pitched Rahul Gandhi as Neta number one and an unsaid Prime Ministerial face. Now the Udhav Sena has pitched who else for Udhav Thakre for Prime Minister. The JDU is batting for Nitish Kumar as Prime Minister. The Samajwadi Party claims that Akhilesh Yadav, why not, could be a Prime Ministerial face. But Udhav Thakre and Sharad Pawar have just downplayed what seems to be a very high-profile bunch of contradictions over who that first among so-called equals is really going to be in the Team India alliance. Udhav Thakre has tried to play it down and said Team India has many options for Prime Minister face, even though each one of those parties is projecting their own leader as Pradhan Mantri option for the Team India alliance. Here's how it's playing out just a day before the Team India alliance is yet to choose even its convener. के दिल में अपने अपने लीडर्स के लिए है मुझसे कोई पूछेगा प्रियंका चतुर्वेदी से पूछेगा प्रियंका कक्कड़ क्या कह रही हैं प्रियंका चतुर्वेदी कहेंगे उद्धव साहब को बनना चाहिए आपको क्या लगता है क्या अखिलेश यादव का चेहरा भी आपकी पार्टी उठाएगी कि उनको भी पीएम बनाया जा सकता है पीएम कैंडिडेट हो सकते हैं एटलीस्ट भले अनाउंसमेंट न हो अखिलेश यादव जी का ऐसा कोई दावा नहीं लेकिन समाजवादी पार्टी का हर कार्यकर्ता क्यों नहीं चाहेगा कि उनका नेता एक पीएम की कुर्सी तक पहुंचे और किसी न किसी दिन पहुंचेंगे भी उनमें यह काबिलियत है फिलहाल प्राइम मिनिस्टर के कई चेहरे हैं और सामूहिक रूप से यह तय कर लिया जाएगा कि कौन उस कुर्सी पर बैठेगा पहले हमारे सामने चुनौती है कि हम इस सरकार को हटाएं और अपनी सरकार बनाएं स्वाभाविक वही रूप से हम चाहेंगे कि हमारे राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष का चेहरा उनमें से हो और होना भी चाहिए होगा भी क्योंकि उत्तर प्रदेश है उत्तर प्रदेश में हम सबसे मजबूत दल है मुख्य विपक्षी दल है लेकिन फिर मैं कह रही हूं कि एक परिपक्वता है गंभीरता है तो प्रधानमंत्री चुनने में हमें कोई कठिनाई नहीं है आपने शुरू में कहा जो सारे उनमें गुण हैं उसमें तो कोई शक नहीं लेकिन वहाँ पर तो सहमति से कोई भी निर्णय लिया जाएगा और जब निर्णय लिए जाएंगे तो इसके बारे में सभी को बताया जाएगा हमारे पास प्रधानमंत्री बनाने के लिए चॉइस बहुत है सवाल यह है कि भाजपा के पास और चॉइस क्या है जो दस साल बैठे थे उन्होंने क्या किया सब लोग देख रहे हैं सब लोगों ने उनका अनुभव लिया है अब बीजेपी के सामने सवाल है कि अरे अभी चुनाव चुनाव जितना है क्योंकि कर्नाटक में तो देखा देखा आपने कोई कामयाबी हासिल नहीं हुई बजरंग बली भी लाना पड़ा उनको लेकिन तो भी बजरंग बली ने उनको आशीर्वाद नहीं दिए तो अब उनके सामने सवाल है कि चॉइस क्या है क्या कौन बनेगा जो करोड़पति ने <laughs> Rajiv Sardar Desai consulting editor is live with us and I want to get uh, you know his sense of what this could really mean uh, you know Rajdeep the the congress has that image you know we all know that optics do count for a lot especially at a time you know when things are not really settled the bjp has been trying to goad this entire alliance into naming their prime ministerial candidates to make it a kind of presidential sort of face off uh, in your view first off Rajdeep how should one read this image that the congress has put out you know apart from the fact that kejriwal is missing from it rahul gandhi in this kind of game of thrones style image projected right at the head of this constellation of opposition leaders is there a message here or are we reading too much into it i think you're not just reading too much uh, into it at this stage uh, shiv it is really a storm in a teacup because if you look at that and we i have checked this now with congress leaders and other opposition leaders there are a variety of posters doing the rounds the one you are referring to has rahul gandhi in the center but if you look there is another logo which has uh, malikarjun kharge at the center and then there is kejriwal very much there among other leaders in fact there are no congress chief ministers there like sidaramaiah but mr kejriwal is there and these hmm. are congress propaganda material look every party will naturally see their leader uh in in uh, a more positive light in contrast to allied parties or parties with whom they've had differences in the past hmm. but the fact is that the bigger picture is very clear uh that all these parties as of now seem to have decided the one issue they don't want to get into shiv is 
who is the face versus mr modi modi versus hmm. who in fact one congress leader told me when i told him that uh, you know there's a story which is brewing like this he said you are falling for bjp propaganda this is all being done by the bjp it cell and social media cell to create the impression that we are projecting rahul gandhi the, as of now the india alliance does not want to project any one individual as a face is what their official stand is now you could argue that as the elections come closer if the congress does well in the winter elections there could be a push for projecting someone like a, a rahul gandhi or a balikarjun kharge but that is for later for what we know as of now shiv they do not want to project any individual because they believe that's the pitch the bjp hmm. wants to fight the election on make it a leadership contest they are saying we are going to make it modi versus the issues and the messaging that we want to send out from mumbai yeah, rajdeep you know the the, the congress uh, uh, pointing at the media and says you are falling into the bjp trap but if you look at the things that have been said today this image uh, uh, you know the jdu the samajwadi party the trinamool the uh, udhav sena as well uh, uh, you know is it the media falling into the trap or are each of these parties really sort of revealing the contradictions and that uh, you know this is not really a level playing field and there is this very visible jostling for space they are falling into the bjp trap look the jostling for space shift will take place there's mm. no doubt about that that uh, there will be jostling for space as to who drives this alliance forward and uh, that is undeniable uh, every party will want its space on the high table these are parties which have had conflicting ambitions at the local level so trinamool yeah. congress and the left in bengal aap and uh, congress in delhi they do have their conflicts and their conflicting ambitions however i think that they have worked out at least this much so far that mm. no individual will be made out to be as if he or she is leading the alliance even if the optics that you are seeing through some of these posters may suggest so i think priyanka chaturvedi put it well in your story she said if you approach me i will say uddhav thakre is fit to be prime minister i am from the shiv sena if you go to priyanka kakkar she will say aam aadmi party i think that the that the alliance will see jostling for for space in terms of seat sharing in terms hmm. of hmm. setting the agenda but i think in terms of kaun banega pradhan mantri that's the one question that this uh, grouping seems to have decided to avoid till at least the uh, till at least next year interestingly they don't even want to make shiv anyone a convener of this alliance at this stage ah, so they are talking of a 11 member coordination committee hmm. because the moment you make an individual the convener there's a sense that that individual is driving the alliance so there seems to be a conscious decision taken not to project any individual the very fact that in mumbai today uddhav thakre sharad pawar and hmm. nana patore were all there together was also designed to send out the message that this is an alliance this is not a one party or one man show how long they can sustain that another question but for now that's the pitch that they want to bat on